our directorate, we have a workspace range selection. First of all, the workspace is what you're actually looking at right now. This is where you're going to spend most of your time playing around with Power Director 8 and sorting out all the bits that you want to edit and change and alter. And you have a look down the left hand side, you find rooms. That's what they call them in Power Director 8. You have the Media Library room just here. You have the Effects room, PIP Objects room, and so on. Titles, uh, Particles, I shouldn't miss out Particle room, Titles. Transition, audio mixing room, voiceover, chapter room, and subtitle room. These are all on the left hand side here, and they all appear in this library or media library area. You can also have contents, drop down contents, where you go to for a color board, and you display all content here. So you click on all content, everything shows up. Scroll down to where I was before, and you see what I mean. All content shows up okay and if you want a color board click on that and the color board turns up very easy isn't it I've got audio files just there that's what they're showing type of media I can decide what type of media I want to display so if I want to display only the video or if I want to display it in a different format you have other buttons down on the right hand side let's do all media again right let's move on again if you want to uh, bring up uh, different type of display we have a timeline view at the moment if we go to a storybook display it's very short not quite the same is it let's go to back to the uh, timeline display we also have an explorer view here on the left hand side very similar to what I showed you on the drop down it's a different way of displaying the information you can add a folder and you can draw files into that folder we have expandable windows so we can drag this window across here that preview window gets larger. We can enlarge this one and the preview will get smaller. Workspace range selection, just place the cursor on the right hand triangle, stretch it out, put it to a position where you want it duplicated. Right click in the space, click copy. Go to an area where you want to duplicate it. Move the slider to the end, right click in the space, click paste. There you are, the whole lot's been duplicated. All very easy. Let's take a look at that again. We're duplicating all the timelines in one sweep. Click and drag the slider along. Yep. Nice and easy. Now it's your turn to have a go. 